Hey everyone, welcome to part one of two of the videos that we have for grocery hauls. I was doing a bit of a tutorial at the start to show you how it all works because we've got a flybys offer and a Woolworths offer. So I thought I would do all the shopping one. Worked out that the video is over half an hour long, so I've broken it down into two different ones. Of course, I went to Woolworths first, so this is the video you're seeing, and then tomorrow night you will see a coal shop and how it all works out. Enjoy. I have also just gotten <laughs> uh, this offer in my everyday rewards. Collect 10 bonus points at Big W for drinks and snacks. Probably won't do that because I don't really have home brand stuff. Um, but if I went in there and there was like marked down chocolate or something, I might go there. But I'm probably not going to be in that area for that. But it doesn't end till the 20th of November. So we'll see. Uh, Big W collect five points on every shop. Could be interesting for Christmas gifts. Then I got this one. Enjoy 3,500 points. Spend $50 at Woolworths each week for two weeks. So that would be quite easy to do. And then collect five points on your total shop and you spend $40 or more. And this ends the 8th of November. And it's currently the 7th of November so I can piggy bank these two together uh, more bonus points and if we scroll back up here to our weekly boosters which again ends on the 9th Lamingtons we buy those all the time actually we'll go back to the start so I won't get any salmon unless it's on a clearance we already have enough cream cheese so I probably won't get one of those Probably will get some tissues if it's a good price. If Lady Apples are on price, probably get them. This is where markdowns are really good because it's the product, not the price you pay. If bread rolls are marked down, I might get them. If I've been out, I also find clearance on the chicken burgers. Bananas, not sure. Have some. Could get a cheeky pack of lollies. Melting moments. I was going to buy another packet of these anyway because I wanted to get some to do an Audi comparison. I won't be getting any more mango slices. My daughter's had an issue with some of the preservatives in it. The muesli bars that are here. So you can get the choc chip or the strawberry. Probably get the choc chip. They're exactly the same as the Coles ones. So why not use this to get the points. And probably get a pack of lamingtons. And then we'll look at getting a pop mix. Because I can just get like for the potato bake or something like that. So then this way I'm adding up all my um, bonuses. I'll go to Woolworths, see what markdowns are there because they're good for some of the meat. And then also there's some other things that we need. Okay, let's head in. I've no idea who that person is in front of me. <laughs> okay. Oh, there's the apples I think we wanted. Oh, when you boost, spend $4. Yes, we did pick that up. All right, we're going to pick up some uh, strawberries. That's not a bad price. Not the best, but it looks good. All right, and we're heading straight to the markdown section and, oh, bargain. Look what's here. Um, no, I don't require a lamb heart for dinner. Thank you very much. <laughs> and we have here chicken with the veggies. Yes. And perfect. We are exactly one minute after they've done the markdown, so... That is excellent timing. Um, and this is pork, so that's no thank you. So we don't really eat pork in this house. Having a quick look around at the chicken, so usually this is where all the other markdown stuff is. We don't like wings. They're a little bit fiddly to eat. So that's it by the looks of it. I do look around at everything else that's here, but that's not really worth it for the weight once you make it to a kilo. Uh, yeah, and there wasn't anything else in the meat section. Had a look at the music bars. I'm so glad that these are here near the meat section. Otherwise, I'd probably forget. But let's grab a packet of the choc chip ones because we need them for the points boost and also stockpile for the cupboard. And I think, yes, I am going to get some pizza bases from here because I want to make some pizzas individually so we can have them in the freezer and then my son can just grab one when he wants them for lunch. Checked out the meat, oh sorry, <laughs> this is bread, bread markdown and nothing there. But we're going to grab Lamingtons because again they're on our booster. 
and yes, gonna grab the melting moments for four dollars. Fun fact, these were actually free because uh, they scanned at $4.50 and because I'd taken this video and I showed the guy they were $4, he said, oh, you can get them for free. I said, oh, thank you very much. It's juice for Kira Morningstar and this one <laughs> has no expiry date on it. So I hope she drinks it quickly because who knows when it will expire. But we're going to grab a second one because for $5 it's a really good price and we have to do a spend and they're not on sale at Coles this week. So we might as well spend here now. I see some Christmas displays on the gondola ends here. I always have a look at what's around. Wait for them to come out on markdown. <laughs> and now we need to head back through all of the aisles in numerical order because that's how it works. <laughs> You've got to go in order. All right, I'm just having a look at the peanut butter for the price that's here, just a mental note for next time. And this massive jar of chocolate hazelnut spread. I've never seen a jar that big before. So again, filming for myself for future me to remember. Gonna grab some of these violet crumbles for hubby and oh yes I think this chocolate needs to come home with me as well. $2.50 why not? And cookies oh that's 10 cents less than what we can get at Audi and Cole so I think let's grab them and also then we can check them out with how they compare. And oh these are cheaper than Cole's Scotch Finger Biscuits. We're gonna grab two packs of those. Having a look in the tea coffee aisle and there is no green chai tea containers that my daughter has so memory it will be a Coles only thing and I am starting to get a bit of a list like that of things in what shops are where. Um, oh, I headed back to the meat section to have a little look down because I saw the markdown man was in the next aisle but I really wasn't gonna grab anything else but I just wanted to see what the pricing was and I have gone past this aisle super impressed with myself and then gone past that aisle as well but we are heading down into the specialty Asian aisle to grab some noodles for hubby I've had to get him these mild ones because sadly the spicy ones were all sold out but having them in the packet like this is easy for him and cheaper because he's home on the weekends to have them so it's better than buying them in the cup gonna grab some sauce because it is half price and I haven't seen it at Coles for a long time so at least if we have it now it will help with the stockpile and just checking out the price of the pineapple slices $1.50 they're $1.20 at Coles so save your money gotta know where to shop food containers I think I'm gonna get some of these because Kira needs it to take her lunch to TAFE and it's just easy that way and then I found the markdown area so I have a little look there's nothing there of interest and oh yeah they have this little ice cream area markdown now as well I had a look in the frozen area just for some veggies just to see what kind of pricing are there and to see if they had any wedges available and they don't have any here either <laughs> I am haunted by the lack of wedges uh toilet paper we're gonna grab some of that because haven't been able to get any at Coles what I want and I did take some photos for the unit pricing and the price per sheet so this one seems to be the best price for the value that it is so we're gonna grab that one had a look around at all of the gift giving ideas that they have here. They've got lots of Star Wars things and of course lots of Disney. So all of the cups that are here in just about any character that you need. <laughs> There's a Santa hat on a Stormtrooper. Drink bottles and then all the Christmas decorations. And I nearly got this duck because we don't have that duck and it has a Christmas hat on it. <laughs> all right, some chips. These caught my eye and these are hubby's favorite flavor so I thought I'll grab them because it's just a single pack and I thought if I'm going to grab one of those then I'll put one of the noodle packs back I actually did grab four so um yeah I'm balancing it all out I'm pretty sure I'm over the shopping limit anyway so we shall see uh looked at the bananas here I love the how the signs they've got here eat now and then eat later so I've got some for eat later hopefully that was stretched out and then decided to put the two chocolate things back because 
we didn't need it. We didn't need it. Uh, and I did go back and have a quick look at the other noodle options, but for the weight and the price, they just don't work out to be the same value. So I'm going to go through and show you guys everything that I've got and I'll put the prices in the bottom of the screen for you. But I'm just going to do a voiceover and just explain a couple of things. So the trolley that you're seeing with everything here right now is not actually what my trolley ended up looking like. By the time I sort of got everything organized, I forgot to do a final check. So the plastic containers that you'll see at the end of this video I actually put back because I figured that I could probably get some cheaper at the reject shop. And also the Melting Moments biscuits scanned incorrectly so they were free, which meant I was under the $50 spend. And I said to the guy, oh, hang on, I'll be back and grab something. And he looked at me in a panic, thinking that I was going to go grab another packet to get them for free. And I said, no, I'm just going to get a packet of another chips. So funny, I skipped the chip aisle completely, but then I've had to run back and get some. And then I had actually put back the Scotch Finger biscuits but so I ran back and I did get another pack. So as you can see here, my total is $50.95. So the Scotch Finger Biscuits just brought me over that. So I'm happy either way. That's week one done at Woolworths. Thanks for watching. I look forward to seeing you next time. Bye.